Magagawa ka ng computer or mag upgrade usually the first question is what to buy or anong specs bibilin mo. Pero yung mas mahalaga na tanong is not what to buy but when to buy. Kasi ang layo ng mga price differences month to month or even sometimes week to week. Especially for the important components like CPUs and GPUs. Ang dami mga videos na magsasabi, magtutulong, what to buy, and we've done some of those videos. But this is one of the rare videos that will tell you when to buy. Kasi tinatrack namin month to month, we've been doing it since October 2022, yung prices of CPUs and GPUs in the Philippines by looking at the prices of the four largest PC retail stores in the country. So is June 2025 the time for you to upgrade or build a new computer? Tinan natin, let's look at the data. Sawa ka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na cdkey ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, sad and depressed ako. But now, I found a love of my life! Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor! So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Starting this month with a pet project, last month kasi napansin ko na mas mahal yung mga prices sa Amazon compared to local Philippine prices. And that was kind of a shock because we always just assume na mas mahal dito sa atin. And I was anticipating na matutuloy yung trend na yun. I thought that prices would remain higher in the states. So long-term trend siya. Unfortunately, hindi. <laughs> we have whatever reality distortion field happened last month, it's not in effect this month because what we're used to na mas mahal dito sa atin is the case again this June. So for the 4060, actually, yung mas mura lang sa atin is the 4060. If you get it on Amazon, it's around 19,900, so almost 20,000 pesos. Dito, average price dito sa Pinas for the 4060 is 18,300. But everything else that we tracked, so we're starting to track the 5060, another big difference for this month. The average price of the 5060 in the Philippines is 20,400, which is around 1,500 pesos more than it is for the Amazon price. Of course, the Amazon prices, that's just the price. Wala pa yung state taxes, depending where you ship it to. Wala pa yung shipping cost. So it's just the cost of the item. Although, para consistent, yun rin ko last month. So it's just the cost of the item. And you can clearly see here sa May, mas mura yung Philippine price compared to the Amazon price. But not like that anymore. So 5060, mas mahal. 5070, mas mahal sa atin by a lot. We're at around 39,000 pesos compared to only 30,500. So ito yung cheapest na 5070 na hanap ko sa Amazon, which is a PNY 5070. Also the cheapest for the model that we're following, 5090, cheapest on Amazon is the PNY 5090. Here, the price difference actually isn't so much, around 10,000 pesos lang. So Amazon price is around 172. Philippine average price is 182. Although we look dun sa shop deep dive later, Mas may nahanap pa ako na mas mura don, So you can actually find the, the average price is higher than the cheapest price that we could find. Obviously, that's how the math works out. So you can actually find around the same price. Actually, we can do the... So yeah, spoiler alert, let's do the per shop deep dive. Yung 5090... Ayun. 5090 from Joker is only 154,200. So we can find prices in the local market that beat the Amazon price. It's just na yung isang store kasi na, yung available lang na 5090 yung Astral so sobrang mahal nung ROG Astral it brought up the average price. So this one if you just look at the data you think na mas mahal dito sa atin but actually if you look you can find a cheaper unit for the 5090 by a lot actually. So mga 152 mga 150k yung MSI from Joker 
Eh, dito sa Amazon, yung pinakamura is the PNY. 9070, also significantly cheaper in Amazon by around 18%, so around 37,800 pesos. Amazon price compared to 46,000, medyo mahal dito sa atin. And the 9800X3D, one of the most popular CPUs for gaming or to be used with gaming, is at a really good price on Amazon. Ang laki ng price drop niya. Last month, the price on Amazon, the cheapest, was 36,000. Now it's at 26,000. So as we all know, may price confusion sa states because of the import taxes, the tariffs, kung matutuloy yun, at what amount. Uh, it's, it's all up in the air. Really, no one knows at this point. And we're seeing the wild price fluctuations even dito sa components natin, yung mga ginagamit natin sa PC hobby. So, yun nga, 36K for the 9800X3D last month. And then now, only 26,000 or so. So for this month, clear winner yung US prices compared to Philippine prices. Although you can still find competitive pricing. Kahit, actually, kahit itong 5090, 10,000 peso difference. I'd, even if this were sort of the real average price of the 5090 GPUs here, I'd prefer to buy it here even with a 10,000 peso difference. Kasi yung may warranty. If you buy it from Amazon, sobrang hirap nung, you know, if you do need a warranty claim. It's a bit hard to process that if you got it through Amazon and you're based here. So 1650 went up just a little bit. 1650, 3050, you know, probably Nvidia US thinks these are zombie guards who buys them, but you know, they're still in demand in the developing markets where budgets are a bit tighter. The immediate entry level GPU, let's say for the US market, probably would be the 4060, 5060. But for us, that's already the entry level. So these cards, these older cards, uh, still have a place in our market. In fact, yun nga, tumaas pa nga yung price. Eh. Went up by around 200 pesos. 3050 went up by around 200 pesos also. 3060, 12 gigabytes actually went down. So people seem annoyed with the new 5060. Um, tingin nila hindi sila, di siya value for money, especially with the 8 gigabytes lang of VRAM. The same criticism was leveled against the 4060. So really, the only, the last X60 card that people really enjoyed <laughs> was the 3060 12GB, which is still on sale dito sa atin. We can still find it. And there was a slight price drop to around 16700 which is the best price it has been this year. So we have 19000 17560 16960 and now we have the lowest price for the 3060 12GB. The average price is now at its lowest price for the year at 16700 4060 actually went up just by a little bit. You'd think it would have gone down, actually, considering the 5060. Um, the price difference between the two is very small, between the 4060 and the 5060. Most people just pony up for the... If you're looking at that card, usually most people pony up the 2,000 pesos more for the 5060. But, you know, if really tight on a budget, then the 4060 around 18,000 pesos. Getting harder to find the higher end 40 cards. So 4070 Super, very slight price increase. 4070 Ti Super went down actually by a good amount. It's around 49,000 now compared to around 52,600. 4080 Super, this has been the same price that we could find because only one store that we survey has it among the four stores. 5060 making its debut on our price watch chart. So the 5060, not well reviewed. A lot of the usual reviewers put up a big stink. Bakit di sila binigyan ng advanced copies? But more important for the local market is if you're interested, magkano ba siya ngayon? And the average price of the 5060 is at 20,400. We do have available also at Hardware Sugar. I just forget what the pricing is, but it, it's around thereabouts also. 5070 price decrease of around 1,000 pesos or so from 40 to 39. 5070 Ti price increase by around 2000. 5080 big price jump. Actually, I if, when we'll go into the per shop deep dive later on, we're gonna find out why. I think it, this is an astral situation again. And then the 5090 again, it's a jump from it's around 10,000 pesos jump. The average price last month was around 172k. Now it is at 182k. Going on to AMD GPUs, the 9070 has gone up just a little bit by around 1,000 pesos. What's interesting here is that the 9070 XT has gone down by around 3,000 pesos. So, hindi ganun nakalayo yung price differential niya between the 9070 and the 9070 XT. 
the XT is the faster model, but really here you just pay 2,000 pesos more, which is around a 5% difference. I would pay the 5% difference. Like if you're seeing these prices and you're thinking, should I pay 2,000 pesos more for the XT version? Yeah, I would. I would. Yeah, I'd go with that. We were able to find a cheaper for the Intel GPUs. We were able to find a cheaper source. And this is sort of like yung, yung available the model dito sa source na to is the Founders Edition or parang straight from Intel. So it's at 16,500 now instead of the 19,500 price that we were tracking from Lazada. So that's a big price decrease. And if you're in the market, the B580 is an interesting choice for that price range, for that performance that you're getting. AMD CPUs, tabangit ko na mas mahal dito sa atin, although the price has actually gone down by around 1,200 pesos. Also, a price decrease for the 7800X3D, 2,000 pesos or so. And across the board, we are seeing drops in the AMD CPUs that we're tracking, except maybe the 5600G, which went up slightly. But you know, everything else, it's nice to see. CPUs, I really prefer AMD at this point. Dami talagang problema with the Intel CPUs. That said, I know a lot of people still need them for work. Some programs are optimized to run on Intel. Or there are still some stalwarts out there. Yung mga talagang super fans who really trust Intel and will stick with the brand through thick and thin. And for you guys, we do track the some intel cpus so yung current king of the hill nila core ultra 9 285k uh went down the average price went down just very slightly by around 250 pesos or so 4900k big price drop around 4000 pesos encouraging to see although yun nga 13th gen and 14th gen of intel um they've had they've had problems you know i won't rehash it here but they've had problems 14700K went up by around 700 pesos. And the Core Ultra 7 265KF, which is sort of like higher than mid range. So it's sort of high end, but not like bonkers high end, kagaya ng Ultra 9, is at a slight price increase with around a 600 peso price increase. So overall, no drastic changes in the market. If you're thinking of buying in May, but then thought to wait a little bit, now might be a good time to pull the trigger because we haven't, we're not seeing a lot of price action. Little price decreases with uh, AMD CPUs. The high end of NVIDIA actually went up a little bit. So the higher end 50 series cards. So, but overall, not these, we, we're not seeing any drastic ups and downs, at least for June. The Per Shop Deep Dive does answer some questions why the average price might be a bit higher. Again, there's a wide variation in the prices of the four stores. So we're tracking the four largest PC stores in the country. Uh, laki nung var price variance nila. We always look at the cheapest unit of the particular model. But even that one, ang layo. And we'll start with Wedge because Wedge is a good indication of how even one shop can skew the average. Dito kay Wedge, we can see na... The, the cheapest model they have for the 5080 is the Astral, as mentioned. You know, I have no problems with ROG. Uh, my, my current monitor is an ROG, a bunch of different stuff here. Um, oh yeah, my, my mouse is an R ROG Harpy Ace. So no problems with ROG, but definitely you pay a premium. And that premium, if it goes into our you know, calculations, really jacks up the price, the average price of the model in question. So 5080, 5090 price increases. Also, as mentioned earlier, mahirap na makahanap no medyo higher end uh, 40 models really being phased out in favor of the 50 series, understandably. Making its debut is our 5060. The cheapest from Wedge is the Windforce from Gigabyte at around 20,000 pesos. And then, yun nga, you have a 2,000 peso difference roughly with the cheapest 4060, which is the Palit, at around 18,000, 19,000 pesos. Roy has none of the 50 series cards on stock, none of the higher end 40 series cards. They do have 4070, which went up, and the 40, 4060, which went up as well. They also don't have any 9070 or 9070 XT cards. Joker, not much of, you know, not, not much going on with Joker. Um, they have the same cheapest model for the 5060 which is the gigabyte one price increase for the 3060 12 gigabyte actually and price decrease below 18,000 for the 4060 the cheapest 5070 ti they have is from msi slight price increase 
of 200 pesos. So not much. Again, we're not seeing a lot of price fluctuations on the market for this month. They do have the 9070 and 9070 XT on stock. No change from last month. Wash has some changes. So increase for the 3050, 4060, and 4070 Super. Decrease for the 5070 and the 5070 Ti. Price increase for the 5080. But again, you know, you can see the 5080 here, the cheapest is 75,000. If you go up to Wedge, its cheapest is the ROG at 110,000 basically. So that you're paying 25,000 more. You're paying around 35, yeah, 35,000 pesos or so more for the same model GPU 5080. Joker is the one with the very good price. Let me, so you can see it. So Joker, if you're looking for 5090, Joker has the best price at 154. Wash has the exact same model, MSI Ventus, but it's 171 compared to Joker's 154. So, yun nga, even among the shops, there are price differences. Wash has a cheaper 9070 and no price change on the 9070 XT. As mentioned, the Intel, sort of the yung parang Founders Edition version, nila, we were able to find one that's actually from Wash, if I remember correctly, at 16,500. And then this data here, the average pricing is what you see also dun sa summary, which we already discussed. As mentioned, I also note where we're not able to find the complete four samples because sampling size does affect, you know, the accuracy or how much you can rely on the data. For example, the 9070, only two stores out of four had it. So I, I do take note of that here as well, just if you want to go a bit deeper into the numbers. And finally, going on to CPUs per shop deep dive, good price drops from Wedge. The 29,000 for the 9800X3D is actually below the average price of the market. Drop also for the 7800X3D, 7600X. Roy, no change at all from last month. Joker, some minor changes, a slightly cheaper 5600X, and then the 1400K, also cheaper by 1,000. So you can see that. Here, last month, it was at 37500 This month, it's at 36750 Wash has a lot of interesting price drops. A lot of the AMD CPUs have decreased in price. So last month, 33000 yung 9800X3D. Ngayon, 30000 na lang siya. Similar patterns for the 7800X3D and the... Well, 7800X3D and the 900X3D. 7600X... 300 peso price difference, so not a lot. And then around 800 pesos or so for the 5600X. Price drop also for the 285K and then price increase for the 14700K. Price drop also for the 4900K. Overall, nothing really exciting, either up or down for the market. Things to take note of, the 5060 available na. We will start tracking it starting this month. And the turnaround from last month, yung regarding yung, oh, mas mahal na sa states, um, bola, that flipped completely on its head. Now, most of the components that we're tracking, mas mahal ulit dito sa atin. Rounding out the video with what to buy is perhaps less important than when to buy. If you're thinking about buying now, you're basically in the same boat as you were last May, with maybe some better CPU prices. So if you have the budget, if you're already sold on the specs, I would, yeah, now is not a bad time. Now it's like an average time to buy. So if you really, really want to, I'd pull that trigger. But you know, if you're willing to wait, kind of gamble a little bit on the prices, then you can hold. But now is a very decent time. It's a respectable time to buy, especially if you've been waiting and saving up. Before I go, if you've noticed this very interesting looking chair, I will be reviewing this for June. And the review should be up around a week after this video goes up. So this video is scheduled to go out 6-4, uh, Wednesday, June 4. By June 11, uh, the video for this one should be up. It's a very good chair. Spoiler alert. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for watching.